Okay, so this is going to be the final part to my reaction to the male loneliness epidemic. So let's watch the rest of these. Since women are doing amazing in college now, and many are now out-earning men, this most of the time leads to single men, which then leads to lonely men, which leads to depressed men, which leads to the high suicide rate. In my opinion, leftism at a policy level does a great job addressing the shitty material conditions that in part lead to the problems that men are facing, but then absolutely drops the ball when it comes to everything and anything related to men's cultural issues. Many such cases. And why would a struggling man even want to move left when the left appears actively hostile to them? The question of whether or not the hashtag online left is enough to appeal to hashtag men has become the question du jour. And like men, have most of the money, authority, and do most of the murdering and assaulting. The average- So, yeah, people like this are the problem. A massive part of the problem. To say that 50% of the country is evil, they're, they're useless, they don't do anything, they're privileged, what this guy doesn't say is a massive, and I mean massive chunk of homelessness, homeless people are men. People who are serving our country are men. People who work the most important jobs are men. And let this guy tell it, men don't do anything. Men are lazy. Men are scumbag murdering monsters who don't deserve anything in life. And if you complain, you'll be treated as some sort of evil, villainous weirdo. The hashtag men has become the question du jour. And like, men have most of the money, authority, and do most of the murdering and assaulting. The average young man in America isn't Jeff Bezos. Also, why did this motherfucker just FBI crime statistics at me? Men do the most murder, okay? They like having all of the stuff they don't deserve. So this guy is saying men are privileged, which isn't true. I mean, besides the top 1% of men that actually do have all the resources, most men barely make enough to survive, if even. Um, nowadays, it's becoming more and more rare for a man to make enough money to literally sustain himself. So this guy saying we're just taking all the resources, that's just not true. When it comes to the top 1% of men, they probably make more than, than the bottom 50% combined. So what are you talking about? They like that. They, they want it to stay that way because it suits them. Now look at this rich scumbag YouTuber who literally makes millions off of grifting on YouTube. Um, I'm, I'm sure YouTube fully endorses everything he's saying about men. So he's fully ad advertised. He's, he's, he, he has monetized videos. So he's probably pulling in millions of dollars a year from preaching about the evils of men. We need to start calling people like this out because if we don't it will keep getting worse the reason for this artificial gender war is because of people like this who put the genders into categories and villainize the genders each gender has their own specific purpose in life we need to go back to that a gender is not inherently wrong or evil um, but this guy, he's just, he just hates himself. He hates the fact that he's a man. He thinks, oh, I'm not a man. Men are evil. No, you're a man. You are a man. You are a biological man living in America and you hate men. This is all this boils down to a basic $1 um, psychology um, session could tell you that of the stuff, telling people they're special and deserve all the nice shit that they have, that's gonna be an easier sell 10 times out of 10 than like saying, hey, maybe you should have less stuff and other people should have more. Leftism is when you don't have a lot of stuff. We're gonna take your stuff. You sound like a 65 year old Fox News boomers idea of what the left is. 
Are you a CIA agent? The right is saying to men, you will own a house. You will have beautiful children with your loving wife. You will have privacy. You will have free speech. You will own things and you will be happy. And the left is like, they like having all of the stuff they don't deserve. But don't get me wrong. Republicans will not do shit. The Republican party will not do shit. The establishment in general will not do shit to help any of this. But the right is at least rhetorically offering men something other than nothing or the eternal HR department. Every time this discord comes up, there's people like, we need a leftist Andrew Tate. We need masculine role models on the left. But the fact is it's hard for progressives to organically appeal to men because a large part of progressivism is oppressive hierarchies and men are oppressors. Making progressivism look appealing to young men is an uphill battle from the start. And although it's funny to laugh at insane people on Twitter, as always, there have been a lot of left-wing content creators talking about men's issues. If you would have told me this would be a thing nine years ago, I would not believe you because anyone talking about men's issues back in the day was called an MRA or a pig. Literally laughed at if you were on YouTube, like five, six, seven years ago, and you said maybe the way men are being treated within society is wrong, people would literally call you a misogynist. People would say you hate women. People would say all this stuff just for advocating for other men. So you have to join the cult, join the cult of man hates and just say men are weirdos, men are useless, men are disgusting pigs men are are predictable men are animals men are oppressors all this negative um attributes um towards men are being promoted in this fake youtube algorithm which loves this kind of stuff yeah men they're bad men are evil <laughs> no no to say 50 percent of of humanity is evil that that just means you hate yourself really and you hate your sons you hate your fathers that's what that means it means you hate your ancestors because a lot of your ancestors were men your fathers are men your sons will be men your grandchildren will be men so yeah it's it's kind of like shooting yourself in the foot Pick me. But lately I have seen a lot of good pro-men lefty content, and I'll put some links to some below. I don't agree with all the points they say, but I recommend watching. It's much better than... They like having all of the stuff they don't deserve. But the issue is a lot of this lefty pro- What stuff? What stuff? Oh, we have all this stuff. The average American has student loan debt, no home, no, can barely afford a car, can barely afford gas to drive anywhere has no land what stuff i w i want to know what what kind of stuff men get for free if you work like 50 years of your life working 80 hours a week you might be able to afford some land but for most men you'll be a permanent debt slave a permanent wage slave and you most likely will never be able to afford to start a family Where's the stuff? Where Where's the stuff? Pro-men content, it's always framed around how do we get them? As if men are just pawns and tools for your personal politics. How do we make the left more appealing to men? How do we stop lonely men from moving to Andrew Tate? Instead of just, how do we help men? And I think that's a really big issue. Both sides seem to treat men as political fodder. Disposable soldiers in the culture war and real war. Anyway, misandry is real. Oh good, finally. And while it doesn't systemically affect cis men, it most certainly affects trans men. Oh. Y'all talking about misandry doesn't harm men and trans men are right there reading this shit, by the way. I see, now we only care about misandry because it affects trans men. Everyone stop, it's affecting a group I care about now. I love how the rhetoric just like evolved overnight from male tears to cis male tears. And I just have to ask, why aren't you including trans men in your misandry, hmm? Nobody told me how lonely being a man is. We is this a transgender man? I have no idea. Is this is this a transgender man? What am I watching? Why aren't you including trans men in your misandry, hmm? Nobody told me how lonely being a man is. We
So, yeah, we're encouraging thousands of people to convert themselves. Like, biological women <laughs> are being convinced into changing gender into a man, which is impossible. You can't change your gender, and I really don't care what anybody has to say about that. You cannot change who you are born as. If I paint myself white, do I suddenly become a white man? No. You are who you are born as. You can't change your physical characteristics. You can't change your DNA. And, and it's just absurd. So this idiot has literally destroyed, 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 destroyed everything she is. And she tried to be a man when really she should have just went to therapy and asked the therapist. But nowadays, therapists are bought and sold. They're not going to tell you, heck no, you're not freaking man. What's wrong with you? Actually, you know, not change your, your, your appearance to look like a man when you're clearly not a man. They'd rather lie to you in order to make money. And guess how much money they're making off of these gender reassignment surgeries? hundreds and hundreds of thousands so yeah this is all just a giant scam and these people are victims they're victims i will admit they're victims but they're victims of the pharmaceutical industry they're victims of 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 radical um left radical democrat organizations they are victims because they're not being told the truth they're being used as a virtue signal for people to feel good about themselves for saying, yeah, I support transgenders. I support trans rights. No, because if you actually cared, you'd care about this person too, who actually regrets that decision. So what are we doing to prevent people who maybe shouldn't be um, turning themselves into a man? What are we doing to prevent people that might regret it from actually um quote unquote transition you knew what that depth felt like before we transitioned we knew what it felt like to like have people want to hug us and to have people want to talk to us exactly a man can't go up to a random um person and just hug that person even other men you're not supposed to hug a man that's gay bro no get away from me bro no i don't want, I don't want your freaking hug man and if you're going through some hard times, who's going to hug you? <laughs> Nobody. You're supposed to suck that shit up, man. And just get on the grind. Work some more. You're not working hard enough. You're weak-minded. You'll be told all of this. Um, <laughs> The politicians aren't going to do anything for you. you. You are literally screwed. You're on your own. You are literally living on an island unless you have a strong male friend group but even that is is i'd assume nowhere near as effective as a female uh friend group they're nowhere near as open males have friend groups but we're not really not pouring out our every emotion to that group like females do so this uh man woman is getting a reality check she is getting a reality check she knows that this is not fun i made a huge mistake and you know now you know now you know what it's like men aren't this privileged upper class having more rights than everybody than women no men are hard-working slaves that keep society running and get nothing for it and have a community and then you transition and you're just a guy walking down the street that people cross the street so that they're not near you and friendships are so much harder to build and what's hard is none of this invalidates how real and raw women and people who are in marginalized groups feel about cis white men all of that's valid but i also now understand why the super I'd rate is so much higher than men. Welcome to being a man. Here's your complimentary isolation and yellow pillow. I love how even when people- Now, you know being a man sucks when you literally start breaking down. When you live 
as a man for like a whole day and you're just like you're just like I can't take it anymore. There have been story after story after story just like this where women will transition into men and then they just start losing their mind um within like a month. They just can't take it. They're like this sucks. Um I hate it. Now imagine living like that for 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 years. Imagine just living like that all the time. You don't have a choice on if you want to change. A lot of men really are stuck like that for the rest of their life. Um, and that's just the way it is. That's just our lot in life. You can't just freaking say, I don't want to be a man. And no, no, we have to figure this stuff out logically instead of trying to just change, change, um, who we were born as because that's just not possible he's experiencing the issues of being a man he's like this doesn't invalidate people hating men come on bro men struggling don't want to be lectured about the patriarchy they don't want to be told it's all their fault they don't want to be told they're part of the problem because first of all they're not the average 20 year old didn't build society they go to work come home off to sissy hypno fetish porn and go to bed like everyone else i've talked about this before but a lot of men's value comes from the money they make, unfortunately. Men are natural providers, and if they have nobody to provide for, they get into findom or send random girls on the internet money. So the average man not only can't provide for anybody, the average man can't even provide for himself. You have a, like, I think only like a few people that are under 30 are able to buy houses this generation i mean imagine graduating from high school working your butt off and you see a house in the area you live in costs like five hundred thousand, and 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 nobody can afford these houses even though your grandparents were able able to afford it with one job and able to have a stay-at-home wife and like five other kids so it's a generational pyramid scheme where every generation gets poorer and poorer than the last. Where's the breaking point? Is there any stopping this? Is anybody even trying to stop this? No. The, the system is working just as intended. Um, men are being financially neutered to the point where they have no power within their own household or their own lives. And we will eventually own nothing and quote unquote be happy we'll be connected to the matrix we'll be connected to the internet and we'll be living our lives vicariously through a screen and that's what they mean because people nowadays they spend their lives through their phone their tv their their computer and nothing else they don't <laughs> men they, they oh, i don't need a, a girlfriend i'm i'm on a freaking um facebook twitter um instagram i i'm on open fans no no really have we really stooped this low have we really stooped this low where this is all men want in life you know our ancestors they wanted land they wanted property they wanted um dozens of children they wanted multiple wives they wanted power they wanted status they wanted food on the table and they can feed their whole family 10 times over come on now you can't do any of that you just work for a corporation get your little 200 square foot apartment and then you freaking go back home go to work i'm just kidding but the fact is a lot of men simply feel like they don't have a purpose anymore whether a job or a career that's fulfilling and pays well or a woman or family to protect and take care of and provide for men are lacking purpose and a man will crawl through a broken glass for a purpose but you know who does make them feel like they have a purpose no no no, no not him I say that life as a man is exceptionally difficult. I say the most beautiful and the most terrifying thing about being a man is you're born without value. Society doesn't care about you. The absolute audacity to act shocked that Andrew Tate is scooping these guys up after a decade of lol male tears is insane. Andrew Tate isn't the solution to men's problems, but he is talking to them. The fact is you did not care about them for years. And even now you just want to recruit them, not help them. And that's why you this guy is 
Andrew Tate. He's 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 um he's telling men that they should be like him. Um yeah, man, just private jet, fast cars, yeah, lots of women. And really nothing more than that. Um it's it's a whole lot of uh, um spectacle but not really much substance in what he's saying. Um sure he's entertaining. Sure he's an okay speaker. But really that's all he does. That's all he does. He's just entertaining. That's all I can say. Into men's problems. But he is talking to them. The fact is you did not care about them for years. And even now you just want to recruit them, not help them. And that's why you will fail. And hey, maybe I'll be the Andrew Tate of the left. Men, listen up. Wash your penis. So I guess I'll leave you guys with a question. Why do you think male loneliness has been increasing? What are your solutions for this problem? And are you dealing with loneliness? And I will see you guys next time. I love how nobody is doing anything about this. Like we all know it's happening, but <laughs> nobody's doing anything. Nobody's building more community centers. Nobody's building more programs. Nobody's adding this to the global consciousness of why this is happening. Politicians aren't talking about this. No one is. Nothing is being done. There's no laws being passed based on this, on preventing it. You can't have a quote unquote society where everybody is alone. That's not how it works. So 20, 30 years down the line, 20, 30 years in the future, how bad will it be then? It will be even worse. And, and you don't even want to really think about that because that's depressing. That's depressing just realizing that most people will be alone. I think right now it's like one in four men don't have any friends. Imagine down the line when it's like half, then 75%. Then it will be seen as a rarity to even have face-to-face -face interaction. And that's when, you know, <laughs> humans might go extinct at that point um yeah but this is just a huge issue this this is utterly insane how much the previous generations effed up and now we're the generation that has to fix all of this the previous generations lived on the on high off the hog where they just spent, uh, printed a bunch of money, inflated the the currency, um, invaded all these countries, um, made all these stupid wars happen. I think the war in Afghanistan was like what one trillion. That could pay off healthcare. That could pay off. That could build like God knows how many housing units. That could probably build like hundreds of thousands of housing units right there then there would be no homeless crisis but we have money for ukraine we have money for random countries in the middle east that nobody cares about but but we don't have any money for actual people that have lived here their entire life their grandparents have lived here their great grandparents lived here and now they're dying homeless in the streets they are alone, no community. What kind of country are we? So yeah, that's my thoughts on this, the, the part three. So do you guys think it's a, a epidemic or do you guys think it's being blown out of proportion? How do you guys think it can be fixed? Let me know in the comments.